just been an explosion at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. We're going to take a look at what happened in Japan, and we'll work to see what changes we might need to make, if any, to our system. 35 miles north of New York City, in Buchanan, New York, is where you'll find the nuclear power plant known as Indian Point. Officials are studying the plant's safety in the wake of Japan's disaster. This is an area which is vulnerable to earthquakes. There is not an evacuation plan that's workable. This plant in this proximity to New York City was never a good risk. So you have the largest, most dense population around any plant in the United States is around Indian Point. Everyone has their fingers crossed under the table, and they're like, let's just hope nobody f***s up and they don't have an accident. You told us time and time again that what happened at Fukushima could not happen. Well, it did. The guy's doing their job. They don't know how to do their job. Yes, they do. They talk about home away from home. Well, that's my home. My, everything else is my home away from home. For those who work in the nuclear industry, this is a, quote, safe plant. For those who don't work in the nuclear industry, there are risks you don't want to live with. Because there is some risk involved. There is well, there's risk, yes, absolutely. We try to minimize that risk as much as we can. That's our job. Many of these plants may have been operating for 40 years, but the design concepts are 50, 60 years old. There's a certain point at which you have to say enough is enough. This plant could run way longer than 30 years, way longer than 50 years. I don't see why we can't just continue to inspect and replace and repair as necessary. You say we don't need things to be looked at because the industry says it's too costly. What does that make you but horrors to the industry? The influence of industry in government is extreme right now. And if they don't get their way, they have ways to, to get their way. With so much attention focused on Indian Point, the future of nuclear plants in the United States might depend on what happens here.